three fallen officers were honored in ceremonies this morning for the making the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. LEX 18's Kristen Edwards shows us how they were honored for this National Police Officer Memorial Week. This morning, a wreath laid at KSP Post 12 for Trooper James McNeely. Back in 1972, he drowned during a flood rescue mission. He was searching for two missing teens when his boat was swept over the Lock 4 Dam in Frankfurt. The teens were found safe. His body was never found. But with new DNA technology, there's renewed hope. We actually still have an open case investigation uh, for him in case his, you know, trying to find his body, in case it floated down into the Kentucky River into another state. Uh, we've actually reached out to those states recently with some new DNA technology to see if maybe he is one of their unidentified missing missing people. After the ceremony for Trooper McNeely, the group drove here to Frankfurt Cemetery where they honored two more fallen officers. One of those officers was Water Patrol Officer David Childs. He was with McNeely when he died during that flood rescue mission. Present arm. Vehicle Enforcement Officer Jason Kamek was also honored for his sacrifice. We all want people to remember Jason and they do remember Jason for his uh, optimism and, and humor and fun loving demeanor and devotion to family. He was also, uh, he loved what he did and was devoted to the public and loved serving the public. He died on Easter Sunday in 2000 when he crossed the I-64 median to try to stop a speeder but he crashed into a rock embankment and died. Every year since, KSP has held a memorial ceremony for him. It's just really uh, gratifying to know that he's not forgotten, that for uh, the past 21 years, his sacrifice is remembered. And they'll keep remembering for years to come. In Franklin County, Kristen Edwards, LEX 18 News. Three other officers were honored this afternoon, and those were Trooper Bobby McCoon, Trooper Harold Toll, and Trooper Eric Chrisman.